Hello, this is Chris Menard. I'm a Microsoft Office Master Instructor. If you want to use conditional formatting to highlight an entire row, here are the steps. Uh, if I want to know what salaries are above the average, conditional formatting, top and bottom rules above average. But that only highlighted the range I was in. So I'm going to do an undo. I'm going to pick up A2 to F18, my entire range. Conditional formatting, go down to New Rule. And then I'm going to use a formula, and the formula is going to be equals F2, and I need to make that a mixed reference. So now it's only going to look in column F, but the rows will change. Is greater than or equal to the average of F2 through F18. And again, you want to make that absolute reference. Format. Pick any background color or fill color. And by the way, I made that an absolute reference because I'm going to go to F3 next, then F4, then F5. But I always want to look in the range of F2 to F18. So that's why that is absolute reference. Click on OK. And there's your answer. Let's test this. I'm going to change this 36,000. Let's make that 27,500. And then make this 22,000. And you can see that the conditional formatting is taking over and changing numbers depending on whatever the salaries are. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the conditional formatting. Here's another one I like. I want every other row to be in a different color so it's easy to read when I print this. Same steps. Highlight. Conditional formatting. New rule. Equals MOD. Then the row function, comma divided by 2 equals 0. What we're saying in this, the MOD function basically takes your one number and divides by the other number, and the row function tells you what row you're in. So I'm actually in row 2. So we have 2 divided by 2, which gives you a 0 remainder. Hit Format. Put it in a different fill color, whatever color you want. Pick yellow this time. Click on OK. And so now every even row, as I started row two, is in that color. If I go and tweak this rule, when I edit the rule, I'm going to change the zero to a one. Click OK. If I'm going to hit Apply, notice it was row 2 and 4 right now when I hit Apply. Now it's rows 3, 5, 7, on and on. And I'm going to edit the rule one more time. When I edit the rule this time, I'm going to do equals mod, same thing, row. I'm going to leave that up there just for a second. What this is going to do is make every fifth row that color. Click on OK. Click on Apply. So now we have rows 6, row 11, row 16, so every fifth row would be in that color. So that's a cool trick with conditional formatting using functions. I appreciate your time. Please visit us at TrialityOnline.com.